Hey everyone. So I'm in the custom vision side here. I'm, I'm in that the wine project that we created in a previous video for the object detection in the custom vision service. And what I'm going to do in this video is to programmatically make predictions on an image. And I'm, I wanted to also mark the image, uh, the bounding box, and tell what the prediction is on the image. And so in order to do that, uh, I'm going to go up here to the settings, and I'm going to need a, a couple of things here so I can call the, the service here. The first thing is the training key and the prediction key, and this endpoint here here, which you can also get from the Azure portal on the resource here. And then this prediction resource ID, so I'm going to, so I'm going to be using all these to make the call to this service. Alright, so I'll go to this Jupyter Notebook here. And what this is going to be doing, it's going to be using this custom vision SDK in Python. So you will first make sure you pip install the custom vision SDK. And as a note, uh, if you're going to be using any of the other cognitive services SDKs in Python, it's going to have the same kind of structure here Azure that cognitive services, that vision, that text, that speech, or whatever. Alright, so this first cell, I'm going to import a few things, uh, the custom vision training client and the prediction client from the custom vision SDK. Import matplotlib so I can display some of the images. Import JSON because I have a config where all those, those previous things that I mentioned before where I have those loaded. Import CV2, this is OpenCV, and then I'm going to be using this to basically just draw the bounding boxes and put the text on on the actual images that I'm going to be predicting. And then I get my config, and then I get the endpoint off the config. Alright, in this next cell I have a couple of methods to, I'm going to be using throughout these predictions. The first one is where I basically append the predictions and what this is going to do is that each of the results uh, from the results on the SDK call, uh, I'm going to look at the predictions and I'm going to loop through those and I'm going to check is the probability greater than the, this confidence level and I have it set the default to 75%. If it is, I'll append it I'll print it out and then I'll just return the predictions that I get. This next method is what I'll use to add the the bounding boxes and the text to the images. This is what's going to be using the OpenCV. And I pass it the image and then that list of predictions that I get from the pin predictions method. And then for each of the predictions, I need to do some calculations here because the custom vision service gives the bounding box as normalized coordinates, but OpenCV needs it as a, an X or Y for the starting point and then the width and the height of the rectangle to print out. So I had to do a couple calculations here. And to actually append the rectangle here. I pass in the image to different coordinates and what color I want it to be. So this is the RBG value, so it'll be red. And then pretty much how much, how thick we want the, the line of the rectangle to be. And then we'll put the text on the image too. So we give it the image and I'm gonna tell it to put the tag name that comes from the prediction and I'm going to tell it where to place the the text at, what font I want it to use, what color, and a couple other properties. 
for the thing. And this last one, it just shows the image using matplotlib without axes and, and all that. All right, so now with all that housekeeping out, out of the way, I can create the training client and the prediction client using the training key, prediction key, and the endpoints in both. And to get the actual clients I can use to get, or get the actual projects, I use the get projects method. And I know what the name of the project is, so I'll just capture it with the name. And then I need to get the the current iteration. Now the iteration, uh, each time, if you remember in the previous video, each time that you train the model, you get a new iteration on that model. And so we get the all the iterations, and what that's going to return is that the the very the the very first iteration is going to be the the most current one. And before we can use the predict on this SDK, we have to publish this iteration so we know so the service knows that it, it can be used. And we just pass in the, the project ID, iteration ID, which would be the most the latest iteration here. And we give it kind of a, a published name. And then this is what we use that prediction ID for as well. All right, so now that iteration has been published, we can now read in an image that we want to predict on. And then we'll call the detect image on the prediction client. And this is going to be using those same test images that we did in the previous video. I'm going to append my predictions. And you'll see that we picked up a red and it was almost 98% confident. So this is the, the image that we're going to be used to predict. There we go. And we see our bounding box here right on the on the wine here and it's a little hard to tell but we got the red uh, tag name appended on it too and we'll do the same thing with the white wine image and it predicted 90 almost 99 percent that it is white and here's the image that we passed in and here it is with the bounding box with the object detected so you can see how easy it is to use the custom vision SDK to do make these predictions programmatically in, in Python. So you can have this run as an API and you can upload images through a website, call the API to predict the images and bring it back in the website. So, all right. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.